The Japanese math rock trio Tricot are back for their third studio album, fittingly titled Three, and coming after a very beloved and critically acclaimed sophomore effort, which is just called The. Tricot bring the sparkly, colourful, playful vibes of maybe maybe a bit of uh, pop music, specifically J-pop, and they bring it to math rock, and that's quite cool. I love this band's style because for math rock and maybe experimental rock in general, the, the music is very playful, it's very melodic, it's playful in its mood, and, and certainly playful when it comes to all the odd time signatures, and that's obviously just the, the very basis of math rock, all those complicated time signatures. And, and usually math rock isn't for everyone, sometimes the complexity can turn a lot of people off, who might find that haphazardness quite jarring, maybe a bit too robotic or machine-like. But I implore you to listen to Tricot regardless of whether you're into math rock or not. If you're into math rock, you'd probably enjoy this anyway, but if, even if you're not, you might like how the sound is so clear and crisp and how there's a greater emphasis on melody. And even if the language barrier is there for non-Japanese speakers, myself included, it doesn't stop me at all from enjoying the music. I can still appreciate all the technical aspects of the music, as well as just the, the vibes, the, those, those playful, colourful vibes. The opening track, Tokyo Vampire Hotel, begins the album with some kick-ass drum fills, and these continue throughout the track with guitar melodies that sound very peppy, very effervescent in terms of the melody, which is just popping and popping and popping and popping from note to note to note. These melodies do sound very angular, but Tricot have a great focus on mel uh, uh, on melodic interplay. Everything on this album is harmonized, and every layer to the melodies just cleanly fits together like, like a jigsaw puzzle. Plus the energy of all the members, and, and especially the lead vocalist Akumi Nakajima, keep these songs driving forward. The drumming on this album also shines on tracks like 1819, and that track in particular is also accompanied by an equally notable bass line. But I must say, I love the drumming on this record. It's obviously a vital ingredient to a math rock record. The drumming's kind of, you know, it, it's, got, it's got to be good. But all the fills are still so creative, they're so flashy. I don't, I don't know who's doing the drums on this album, but I think the band's main drummers have departed since their last record, but whoever's doing them on this one, good good job. But you aren't only getting these haphazard, uh, crazy rhythms and, and high energy like on Wabi Sabi or Pork Ginger. Sometimes you get funkier rhythms wiggling their way into the album like on Yosoiki, a song that could easily be the poppiest that Tricot have released so far. The slap bass is such a smooth, welcome addition to the mix too. Then the band might throw another unexpected punch with the much slower Tsukima with a clear lounge jazz influence. I think the most experimental track here would be DDD, perhaps named after that penguin from Kirby. And it's a track that jumps all over the map in terms of tempo and mood and general sound. It's a constantly experimenting track, though I think that makes them fly a little too loose, especially during the hook. I, I don't think the hook is necessarily one of the better executed ones on the record. An example of an off-the-wall and more crazy track that really flourishes is Namu, a poppier track with repetitive vocal lines and guitar melodies. The groove just gets so infectious, it's, it's hard to deny enjoyment. A lot of fun to be had on that one. I can imagine it kind of annoying a couple of people, but to be honest, as someone who likes fun, I just found it a good time. In a way, this album could just be seen as standard fare for Tricot, but that doesn't lessen the amount of fun and the high refreshing appeal of the music. I think they've continued to be playful and experimental, while also harmonious in their crafting of melody and songwriting. In other words, I think they've hit it out of the park with this one. Give that thing an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10.